Ha ah, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Lord of Magna. We somehow made it through that battle. Um, I don't know what she's saying, something about trikins. Aha, she's waking up. Hang in there, love. We'll have you in a soft, fluffy bed in no time. Yes, let's be off. That was tough, for sure. I made it out of there barely, with one person alive. Managing to take down the, the that monster boss. She was sucked, so I fixed her up a new change of clothes. Your fingers do some fast work, Bart. <laughs> Sheesh, you flatter me. Uh, I wasn't really trying to flatter, but sure, I'll roll with it. Did he made her up too? Trixie. Trixiekins. Trixiekins? <laughs> hmm? Oh, they're gonna remember something. <clears throat> Gabby? Oh! That's right, Gabby. Her name is Gabrielle. Ah, of course. How could I possibly forget Gabrielle is, without a doubt, one of our dear sisters. Gabrielle, eh? So the pattern continues. You all really do piece together more of your memories every time you meet one of your sisters. <laughs> sure do. Now all we've got to do is wait for Gabby to wake up. Okay. We needed a cutscene for that? Eh, hey, I'm not complaining, I guess. <laughs> Look at her. Oh ho What are you blushing like that for? I have a maid outfit, I think. Yep, every new girl who we find has to be a maid, apparently. Jeez, I'm a little... Um, that you knew her size without even having met her, Bart. Bart's dedication... Will anyone tell... Um... You're Gabby, right? Yes. You may address me as Queen Gabrielle. Okay. Gabby, you mustn't make such demands of our master. <laughs> kind of hoping she won't make such demands of anyone. <laughs> but you know, we're all happy that you're safe. <laughs> really, really happy. Welcome back, Gabby. Thank everyone. you, everyone. Oh. It feels good to be back. I'm close to the end by now, I bet. <laughs> Which means I'd better head back first and put together a proper welcome for Gabby. And uh, how exactly are we going to do that? Nine. We're all on a boat. I say, you'll never get anywhere in life without that, with that attitude. <laughs> Operation Made in Heaven takes yet another courageous step forward. Praise the gods for this glorious day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, he's pro. He's out swimming the boat, too. I don't know whether to be impressed by his devotion or... <laughs> that pro skills, though. Hey, Amelia, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back, Bart. Where are the others? They'll be here soon. I'll sit back early. 
Gotta get ready to greet Gabby and the others properly, you know? So there's more of them? You got it. One more to be precise. Jeez. More girls. More! Does he just grow them out back in the garden or something? <laughs> Real green thumb he got, huh? By the way, Bart, do you remember that old lullaby from before? Huh? That kind of came out of nowhere. Come on, you know the one I'm talking about. The one everybody in town sings to their kids. We heard it a lot, too, growing up. Yeah, I know the one. I'm surprised you remember it at all. Yeah. I've just been thinking, don't you think they're almost acting it out word for word? Lucas and the girls? Mm. Can't remember it as well, but one part was like, God sent a family of maidens to walk this earth. Yeah, someone in town said the girls are here because God must have sent them. That's when I thought of the lullaby. Yeah, but God don't gods don't really exist, you know. But that's not all. There's more to the lullaby than just that one verse. Do you remember any more? <laughs> um, hang on. How do it go again? Uh They met a smiling boy and found a happy place. Oh yeah, I got it. But for happiness sake and all it's worth, the family vanished into night's embrace, right? You know, I just realized this is one hell of a depressing song. Yeah, they sung that to people as a lullaby. It is, but think about it. It doesn't really have anything to do with Lucas and the girls, right? Don't know. Maybe. Just maybe. It's some kind of prophecy? What? <laughs> Got you. Ease up. I'm only kidding. There's no way something like that could be real. R right. It's impossible. You don't think we should tell them about this, though, do you? I don't see how any good would come of it. Yeah. Anybody could see how happy he has been lately? Yeah. It'd be sad to ruin that. Don't let it get to you, Amelia. It's just a dumb old lullaby. There's no way it's got anything to do with us. You're right. It can't. Sounds like it to me, though. <laughs> God sent a family of maidens to walk this earth. They met a smiling boy and found a happy place. But for happiness sake and all it's worth, the, the family vanished into night's embrace. We're home. Yo, welcome back. Huh? So this is where everyone lives? Hey there, Gabby. We've been waiting for you. Oh, you're that weirdo who jumped over the side of the ship and swam off. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself properly. My name is Bart, the man, the myth, the visionary, and brilliant mind behind Operation Made in Heaven. Made in Heaven, what? Yeah. <laughs> Bart, just give up on that load of crap already. I'm sure everyone has, has to be exhausted after today. Let's all get some rest. Gabby, do you mind staying in Lottie's room? She wants to stay with her. 
No, I don't want to stay with her. I'm going to stay with Trixie Kins. No talking back to Lucas now, Gabby. It's only fitting that the two who snore the loudest share the same room. Ah, <laughs> wow. What? I, I snore? I was kidding. You know, I think that's the first time I've ever heard Trixie crack a joke. Looks like our bad influence is starting to stick to the most level-headed lady in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I don't want to get stuck with your influences. I mean, Laddie's a total snob. A slob. <laughs> hey, I'm not. <laughs> these, these girls, though. Are too. Our old master got mad at you lots and lots for being a slob. They had an old master? Your old master? At least Lucas looks nicer. He doesn't seem the sort to get all mad about every little thing. That's news to me, Gabby. Do you by any chance remember our previous master? Huh? Yeah. Of course I do, don't you? No, none of us remember. You got a name to go with this face? It was Kaiser. What? Kaiser was their master? What? Your former master was Kaiser? What? There should have been only one holy hand to guide the fairies. Oh my gosh. Yes. Duty was passed into the hands of man. And so it is that the fickle threads of fate are tangled once again. Is that why he's looking for them then? Are you the one? <laughs> interesting, interesting indeed. Mm. I'm ended here. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. And uh, I'll let you guys ravel in that news. Kaiser apparently was the girl's master. Crazy. Um, I think there might... We should have missed a, a good amount of the girls, though. So uh, We got more memories to find. We got more stuff to do. Lots of thingies. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Um, and I'll see you later. Bye.